I'm glad it's finished. I had my health club still. So I just went back to running then. And then three years ago, I decided to come to New Zealand. And it's the best move I've ever done. I decided to drop off the radar. I've been very wise in respect to the money I've earned through gladiators and everything else. My family and me are very, very happy over here. Welcome to my home here in New Zealand. Let me take you through. <laughs> this is my guest house here. One of my friends come from England. How I keep in shape now I'm not a gladiator is by weight training three days a week, twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do submission fighting, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. My instructor, Steve Oliver, is the current world champion. Some are professional cage fighters, some are Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champions. Personally, I think they're just a bunch of wusses. Oh, guys, 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 I didn't mean it! <laughs> I'm working here as an actor, and I've just done two episodes of a sci-fi series called Extraordinary Amazing Friends, and it's, it's all good fun, really. And there he is in a pink dress. I suppose you could say he's a wolf in girls' clothing. <laughs> Although, obviously, not to his face. This is the centre of filming at the moment. You've got lots of big movies being made out here, so it's the right place to be. If a job comes along and I think it's right and I get it, then it's great. If I don't, then, uh, you know, I'm good enough to survive comfortably. Atomic. After Gladiators, my life changed beyond recognition because I was mum. Just life took a very, very different path. I used to compete for Britain and we used to go to these wonderful training camps abroad. And um, I wanted to recreate something that had that camaraderie and fun. And so I did a lot of research, went to the United States and brought back Adventure Boot Camp. I have two camps that I run every day. One is at 5.45 in the morning and I have about 35 girls, amazing professional women. Then at 9.15 I run another camp and they tend mostly to be mums who have dropped the children off. I started that four years ago and uh, we intend to open 50 um, next year. I get a lot of pleasure out of it. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. The I decided, I mean, to leave the UK basically. I mean, I've done four years, five years gladiator. I've always wanted to live in Los Angeles. When I first came over here, I did um, a TV series, Action Man, for, um, you know, I was <laughs> Action Man. Save the world every week. <laughs> this new version's just as good as the original. Hands that grip, real hair, and of course, eyes that move. Oh yeah. Um, so I did that for a couple of years. Um, and then I, I, I just joined the ranks of actors over here. I've been doing Days of Our Lives, which is a soap over here, and NCIS with Mark Harmon, and, and shows like that, and I did a movie with Van Damme, which was the, the ultimate in experience. I missed the party, huh? I get shot and he gets the girl, go figure. <laughs> but, I, you know, I want to go back to England and, and work over there. I, I miss it, I do. Samantha Bond Agency, that's where I work. I'm an agent myself. Samantha was my agent when I came to London when I was 18 and the opportunity came for me to work with her and I have done for the last, I think now, be about four years. We have some well-known names on the books. There's Lilani, Jackie Degg, Rianne, Katie Downs. They do a variety of jobs really from um, advertising, commercial, um, the magazines, the lifestyle magazines, men's lifestyle. They handle everything but fashion. I've been around modelling since I was very young, and I love it. You know, I've got a fantastic life now. I've got my own loft conversion company. I've got two beautiful kids, uh, a lovely wife, uh, and I, I, I owe uh, you know a lot of that to, to the experience of Gladiator. Apex Loft Conversions is my company. I run it with my brother. We build about 100 loft conversions a year. Our father's a roof, our grandfather before us was a roof tiler, so it was a natural thing for us to be uh, a tradesman. And I'm at a time in life where I like to enjoy what I'm doing, you know, rather be a, rather be a craftsman, a lot more enjoyable and it lets us uh, slow down a little bit. I've kind of done the crossover and went into acting, so I've done quite a bit on TV and, and, and films and so forth, so i just come back from Budapest doing Robin Hood.
I am not really Salah Hadeen. I am not really King Richard. Now I start shooting in five weeks here in LA. And if you look at that view behind me, that's some serious view. I can't believe I'm actually here with my family. Don't get me wrong and don't get it twisted. I love Kensal Rise and Queen's Park. But wow, this is taking a mickey. <laughs> After the latest finish, I studied acting and music for two years and spent six, seven years touring plays. I did five years in England and then I went over to America for two years with the Peter Hall Shakespeare Company where, you know, we opened in New York, LA, San Francisco. And then I came back to do some work in England and it was like Scarborough, Billingham, Matlock. So after that I thought, well, I'm not going to be the next Jackie Chan. So um, um, nowadays I kind of deal in property development and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it because it's testing new areas rather than just, you know, being able to whack somebody really hard with a stick or climb a wall really, really quickly. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of a lot of organisational skills and um, kind of looking after a team of people. OK, so here I am at a secret location in London at the Gladiator photo shoot 2008. I did presenting for a couple of years after Gladiators whilst I was training to act and um, myself and Diane Newdale Jet um, have been backstage meeting all the new Gladiators. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I, I love the show. Obviously, it was a massive part of my life, so it's great to be asked. So we're going to be involved with a new interactive website. After I did the first four years on the show, I, I wanted to walk as far away from from being Jet and being seen in Lycra and being this athletic person as possible. I went back to university, I studied very academically, I took a very different route. For the last, oh gosh, five years, I've been training trainers within the fitness industry, developing them within the psychological aspect of how they maintain client relationships and develop clients. I teach Pilates, I also work as a counsellor and psychotherapist, and again, moving back into broadcast and TV, which is just wonderful, and I'm really excited about that process. I've got my mortgages paid and stuff, so I'm sort of pleased myself, really. And what happened to super contender Eunice? She's gone from flipping burgers to flipping Hollywood as a stunt double to the stars. I was working in McDonald's part-time before I did Gladiators. <laughs> Gladiators opened this door and um, everything about my life has changed, everything. I would never, ever have thought to do stunt work. It wouldn't have occurred to me at all. And um, it, it's like as if that's what I was built to do. I did Fifth Element, um, doubled for Mila Yasofazovic. I never quite get her name, Mila. <laughs> And um, I did Tomb Raider 1 for Angelina, Tomb Raider 2 for Angelina. Um, Mr and Mrs Smith, I was doubling Angelina again. Basically, when you didn't see Angelina's face, it was me, really. In, in, when it comes to any action scenes, um, Troy, I was just one of the fighters in the thing, uh, uh, dressed as a man in a beard the whole time. Because, <laughs> to be fair, you know, it's not hard to mistake me for a, for a guy anyway. <laughs> I get paid to play. <laughs> Can you imagine? And I'll always be grateful for the gladiators to that. Coming up, the moment we've all been waiting for. We go behind the scenes of the imminent Sky One series and meet the new breed of gladiators. <laughs> After an eight-year absence, Gladiators returns to our screens exclusively on Sky One. A new generation of Gladiators await the challenge of courageous contenders with tougher games than ever before. Obviously, we all grew up watching Gladiators. Stroke of genius to bring it back now. I can't wait to see it back again. The blaze of publicity surrounding the comeback was reignited by the triumphant return of American Gladiators, hosted by the mighty Hulk Hogan and boxing royalty Layla Ali. I think they've really raised the bar on excitement and, and made it a whole new ballgame with the production and the lighting and uh, just the, the athletes and the contenders are more intense. And you got the biggest, baddest, strongest physical specimens on this show and the average Joe, you know, or Jill coming up trying to beat them. When I come into the arena, I'm just, oh my God. 
no control in this wolf. He gets out there and uh, just destroys people. I used to pull trucks, so what's a 140-pound contender going to do to me? Oh, 